How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We are going to do a tier list of the best financial YouTubers and I'm pretty excited about this just because I think it's going to be fun to sit back and relax. I'm going to have a beer. It's going to be more conversational in nature. Hopefully I don't have to really cut anything out. We'll just keep it all in unless for some reason there is such a long video that we have to uh, try again because the video cuts off or something or unless I have a stroke and I stutter six times in a row or something like that or someone yells to me. But I apologize right now if there are longer pauses than usual. Sometimes when I am thinking, I just cut out like a half a second or a second, but we won't do that today for the most part. So let's just sit back and have a drink. So before we start, I do want to say I have notes here. We're going to look at a lot of different financial YouTubers. We are looking at actually 17 of them. And I have different criteria for what is allowed, what I'm actually going to look at today. But before we do that, I do want to thank a couple people that have been signing up with Webull. I did actually claim five stocks today. So if you sign up with Webull, I am just clarifying this with their marketing right now. But you get two free stocks if you sign up and deposit $100 or more, and they're worth up to $1,400 each. So if you want to sign up and get some free stocks there, definitely do that. Um, I also want to say thank you for all the new subscribers. We're almost at 1,600, and we were we just hit uh, 1,000 last Friday or last Thursday night actually. So that's amazing. I love the growth. I love being able to talk with more of you. And, uh, you know, I do want to say too, I've gotten a little bit of hate, a little bit of flack for putting up videos that have a lot of big names in them. So I've done a couple of videos on financial education, but really just two or three of my last hundred videos have been with someone else in the name or someone else I'm talking about. So don't hate on me too hard. I'm not doing this just to get views. I'm just doing it because I thought this would be fun and it would be a fun topic to go over. So. We're going to rank some of the best financial YouTubers, like I said, and I want to say before we get started, they have to be in finance, so especially stocks or maybe some real estate, but uh, really just more of a focus on stocks and stock market investing, growing your wealth through the stock market. The other thing is I want to say these are YouTubers, so I want to make sure that they're monetized. So anyone that's a hundred or anyone that's not a thousand youtubers uh anyone that's not got a thousand subscribers sorry uh anyone that's not got a thousand subscribers won't be on the list so we'll just go through and we'll go kind of from smallest to biggest but when you get into the bigger ones it might be mashed up a little bit maybe we go from 500,000 subscribers down to 300 or something like that but they're just massive youtubers at that point so we're gonna go through and first of all we're gonna give we're gonna give some honorable mentions. So the first honorable mention I actually wanna to give to a friend of mine who lives pretty close here. I've talked to him a good amount and actually did a collaboration video with him. And that and that uh, YouTuber is Logan Fisher. So if you haven't seen any of his videos, he's another young guy just like me. He talks about individual stocks. He talks about some broader topics too. And he's someone that you can look to if you're around our age, you can look to him and he has a really good head on his shoulders, talks about how to build wealth over time. He has a cool channel and you can check it out. It's just under Logan Fisher. So with all of these different YouTubers, I am going to say I will put the timestamps below for each one that I talk about. So if there are just some that don't really interest you, you can skip ahead, but I suggest you watch all of them because any of these people and all of these people are really smart. As you can see, I only have S through C. So all of them are really smart and you know, you can learn a lot from all of them. So all of them are very successful people. So like I said though, you need a thousand subscribers to be in this video and to be on this list. So we're going to put him in honorable mentions because he does not qualify for the actual video yet, but he is growing pretty quickly. So check him out. Now the next one that I want to talk about, is bigger pockets. So uh, if you're in real estate at all, you probably know about bigger pockets. They exclusively make videos on real estate and real estate investing. They do all different kinds of videos from being a real estate investor, a wholesaler, a flipper, Airbnb. 
they have podcasts, they have YouTube, they have a website, but they essentially have this massive team there and that's why I'm not gonna let them qualify for the actual video. So they are also going to be in the honorable mentions. So Logan, you are in good company. Maybe someday you will have 540,000 subscribers, but we're gonna put bigger pockets right there and they're an awesome resource if you wanna learn more about real estate investing. They are the place to go. They are massive and they have a ton of very successful people just in their community, so that's pretty cool. Then the third person that I wanna shout out is Investment Joy. So if there was a hillbilly tier, we would put him there. So that's not supposed to be derogatory. He calls himself a hillbilly all the time. He's just a guy from Southern Ohio who actually runs some trailer parks, runs some uh, laundry mats, has some different rental properties, but he's a really successful guy. He has a really big YouTube channel here now too. And if you ever wanna spend half an hour watching people take uh, quarters out of laundry mats, he's the guy to go to. So <laughs> he has a very successful channel. People love just being able to sit there and kind of listen to him. It's almost like a podcast. Like he's just going around opening different laundry and uh, dryers and washers. And it's pretty fun just to watch. He also talks about how much he makes with a laundromat, but he's a guy that's really inspirational. If you need something and maybe you're in a lower tax bracket, maybe you don't make good money. He's someone that kind of came from nothing and he's making hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars each year, probably millions if you count the appreciation on his rental properties. But he has a handful of businesses that all are very successful. So he also does some cool things where he financed the laundromat with none of his own money with just another investor and it pays a good amount to him. So cool guy to go check out if you want some entrepreneurial stuff, definitely go check him out. Now we get to the list. So we had those three honorable mentions. Now we're gonna start going with the YouTubers. So number one up is actually Chris Sane. So if you haven't checked him out, He's actually another guy that's pretty close to me here in Michigan. He's from Grand Rapids and he's a cool guy. He actually runs a lot of different stuff in the community. So he is, he, he runs part of uh, one of the local community colleges. Like he's on outreach or something like that. He's also on the board or in some kind of capacity with one of the local um, was it fraternities. So he does work with a fraternity. He also runs a type of like training session for professional athletes and a boys and girls club around here for inner city kids. Uh, he's just someone that's really successful. He's looked up to a lot and he's a cool financial YouTuber. He, he does finance videos, but they're usually pretty short. They're not very in depth. Like he'll do a little shout out to Weeble and then he'll go into a stock for a couple minutes, talk about you know, more the psychology of the stock. So like, okay, there's this stock, it's a penny stock. Um, this is what you should do or shouldn't do. And if it, you know, make sure that you get a certain amount of share so you can actually accept the profit and you actually get something out of it instead of just buying five or $10 worth or something. I don't know, he's, he's pretty cool. If you want like a five minute video on some hot stock, he's a guy to go watch. And uh, we'll put him up here. We're actually gonna put him in the B category. So I really like him, but he is just starting out. I mean, he has a, a pretty sizable portfolio on Robin Hood. It's 30,000, but he doesn't go real depth in some of his stocks, but uh, you know, he is a great YouTuber still. It's a B just because we're talking about some of the massive YouTubers in this space. So I can't put them up there with some of the other guys that are here just because they are massive and awesome and provide so much value. But he's going to be someone that provides a lot of value to a lot of people. I think that he definitely could move up to A here soon. But right now he is B tier. So the next person on here, Jack Spencer investing. So this is a guy who is pretty inspiring to me. He just came on the scene kind of like Chris Sane and he was at three or 4,000 subscribers like a week or two ago. He's just been growing massively. He's uh, got an Irish accent. I'm pretty sure he's actually in Ireland right now, but he's a cool guy. He does a lot of investing videos. He'll really break down like top 10 hot stocks or top 10 of this stocks, top 10 of that stocks, or break down one stock in particular. 
he is someone that is really fun to watch. He's got really great energy. And for me, I'm not someone that naturally comes on and just like turns it on. I think uh, I've always had more of a monotone voice. People think that uh, I'm smoking something on here, but I'm not. It's just that I don't have this kind of energy like this guy has. But he's actually a personal trainer, I think, in his day job. And I actually do some of that too uh, in a side business that I have. So we're going to put him up here. I really like him and he is raking in the views, but we're going to put him in B tier and nothing against him. It's again, just because the guys that we're getting into massive, massive guys. So the next person on here that we're going to look at is actually Jared Morrow. So if you don't know who Jared Morrow is, he is someone that is like the nicest guy in the world. So when I was starting out, I think I had 60 or 80 subscribers and I wrote to him on Instagram talk about how I was growing my YouTube channel and this is after I was really excited because I grew from like 20 to 80 within a week or two <laughs> and he wrote me back that day and we had like a lengthy like one or two hour uh, conversation going back and forth on Instagram and we were posting like full paragraphs talking about like what to do, what to do next. He looked at my videos, like he watched several of my videos and gave me tips on them. And since then I've been in contact with him every couple weeks, just you know, keeping him updated and talking through different stuff with him. He's a really cool guy, I actually talked to him today. But he is someone that talks about FIRE or financial independence, retire early. He He's someone that you can really look up to if you're looking to retire early or you just want some general investing principles. He doesn't go into too much depth on stocks because he's a firm believer in index funds, which is fair. That's a great way to go. So we're going to put him in the A category. So he's our first A category. He's pretty big on uh, YouTube and he's getting bigger. I think he was right around 20,000 subscribers last year or something like that. Um, I think he was right around seven or eight when I started watching him. So awesome guy, check him out if you haven't checked him out. If you're looking at how to retire early, check him out. So the next person that we're gonna look at, JJ Buckner. So he's a guy, I think he's from the Midwest too. He cracks beers in his video, so shout out to JJ, here you go. Uh, Lining Kugel right here. But he's someone that's real laid back. He's like, he's like the buddy guy that you would see um, from high school or something or college. He's really bright. He's a bright guy. He, uh, he does investing videos. He'll break down his portfolio a little bit. He shows like stocks that he's buying or he has bought. He talks about general finance principles and different stuff like that. And he, I will say he's got some awesome thumbnails. He's uh, hired someone I think to work on those for him recently. But we're going to put him in the A category. He's really a high quality YouTuber. If you want to see someone that is just really well rounded, check out JJ. The next person that we're going to talk about is Bruce Wang. So if you haven't checked him out, he is someone that is really fun to watch because he'll show his portfolio. He's got really high quality video and he has like a whole setup for a studio that he uses. And it's not like in his room or something or in his house. He has like hired out a studio or rented out a studio and he put up all his YouTube stuff there and he just goes there. He owns a couple rental properties. He's a investment or a portfolio manager, a rental property. Uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of the word, but he looks after other people's rental properties and like collects rent, signs leases and stuff like that. But he does that. He's uh, fun to watch. So we're gonna put him in A category and we're, we're getting bigger here, so 72, 73,000 subscribers there. We're putting him in the A category, awesome guy to go watch, check him out. I've actually talked to him a couple times too on Facebook, nice guy. Um, but next we're gonna get into a little bit bigger. So this is someone that I really enjoy listening to. So Joseph Carlson. He might be a little bit of a sleeper on this list. And you can see he has 112,000 subscribers, but he is one of the quickest growing that I can find on here. And he is a little bit different than everyone else because he's big into podcasts too. So he'll put up a lengthy video, like a 30 to 50 minute video. Also put up the podcast version. And he is interesting to watch because he doesn't care about anything. Like he, He's uh, pretty young, maybe high 20s, like a lot of these guys, but 
Like he's not doing this at all for the money. He's not like trying to do this as his day job. He's a software engineer. So you might be able to tell kind of his personality. He's real intellectual, um, really straightforward, but he'll break down not only like different stocks, but he'll also kind of talk about what's going on in the news, his thoughts on what's going on in the news. And he's, he's really interesting to watch. He's a really cool guy. Um, he doesn't really show his face at all. So if you're looking for that, uh, this is the only picture you'll probably find of him. But he's a cool guy. He also interviewed the CEO of M1 Finance. But check him out. He'll do a lot of information on his portfolio. And he's just a really smart guy. Like all these guys are smart. They're entrepreneurial. But this guy's like a high IQ guy. Like somewhere, someone where you would just know that he's got probably like a 35 on his ACT, 34 on his ACT or something like that. If you don't know what ACT is, that's a really good score. Like just a high IQ guy. So he is actually our first S tier category here. And check him out on any of the podcast app or on uh, YouTube. He's grown a following there pretty quickly. And I apologize. I have to keep on getting drinks. I have the line Google, but I also have water. Too much talking here. The next guy is someone that I didn't really realize was as big as he was because the last time I checked, I thought he was like 200,000 subscribers, but Nate O'Brien. So he is a guy that has been one of the, I don't know, one of the more original YouTubers. So a lot of these guys like JJ, um, Jared Morrow, Bruce Wang have been on for maybe the last year or two. Nate O'Brien seems like he's been around a little bit longer. I think he's been around three or four years and he does investing videos but more like general finance videos he was part of that first wave where you didn't really show your portfolio but he does like entrepreneurial videos he talks about just general finance principles so he's a great guy to watch if you want to just learn more about finance in general and don't want to know about specific stocks maybe and he is going to be another a tier category guy he's just really solid uh so check him out the next guy here is someone that's very similar actually to Nate O'Brien, but Ryan Scribner. So he does a lot of the same stuff, entrepreneurial, investing, um, what's going on in the market, what to do now, what to do then, all that kind of stuff. And he's pretty similar, but he's also a really good guy to watch. We're going to put him also in the A category. And uh, he's just someone that you should go check out if you want to learn more about just general stuff. Now we're getting into the big boys here. So, I mean, not that 635 is small, but meet Kevin. So he is someone that barely made the list just because he's not like he's in finance, but a lot of his stuff is real estate, but he has been doing a lot of stuff on stimulus. He's kind of popped off on the YouTube scene recently because he spent a lot more time really after the virus started or, and, um, He, I have to be careful how I say that because I don't want to be demonetized on here, but he was someone that has been really big in real estate. He was a really successful realtor. He's uh, started YouTubing a few years ago and then he really put a lot of time in it. He was around around, uh, 100,000 subscribers like last year or something, but he's someone where if you want information on what's going on, you go to him. If you want stimulus information, if you want investing information, you can go to him a little bit. He doesn't do a lot with stocks, but if you want uh, ideas on how to build wealth through rental real estate, he's the guy to go to. He's only making this list because he's done a couple videos on stock and he talks about stock in his videos a little bit. So we're going to put him in here and we're going to put him, let's see, where did I put him? It's tough. So we're going to put him in the in the A category. So I was going to say maybe the B category just because he doesn't really, he doesn't really qualify for a lot of the stuff here, but we're going to put him in the A category. He is someone that uh, just talks about building wealth. So he's right there. The next guy is Andre Jick. So if you don't know him, he just started YouTube like a year ago or something. And he's just an awesome guy. He's got a lot of natural energy a lot of natural spunk. He's really good in from the camera. Uh, kind of a goofy guy. He does magic. So when you think of like the prototypical or the stereotypical, I should say, nerd in like middle school or elementary school, it would be Andre Jick. Like he did, uh, he does magic tricks and he likes finance. So like 
he would be the normal weirdo guy in the class, but he's awesome. He's someone that is really popular. He has really high quality videos. Um, he actually worked as a vid video editor for a while in his profession. So he quit and went long term in YouTube. But he is someone where he started investing and he was only making about 50000 at the time, which it's not like that's nothing, but it's not like some of these other people that are making 100000 200000 300000 in their day job. But he saved 50% for four years, I believe. So he saved 25000 for four years and his portfolio grew to about 200000 from like 2015 to 2019. And that was a good time for him to invest, but that gave him enough confidence to quit his day job. And then he actually switched to doing YouTube full time, like really early on in his YouTube career. But he is someone that you should go check out really high quality videos um, on finance and just like the editing and the video itself is just amazing. It's pretty interesting and entertaining to watch. It's more entertaining than some of these other people. So definitely go check him out. Because if you're someone that doesn't really like to sit down and watch a lot of finance videos or you know someone that doesn't like to do that, he's a guy to watch that is pretty entertaining. So he is in the A category. And just because I feel like there are some massive players here and we're going to get into him here. So we are down to the final four, I believe. Yep. Final four. So this one's a little bit controversial. Clear value tax. So... He is someone that has really got on the scene recently also, but even more recent. So after uh, everything that's going on in the economy right now, we're just going to say that. After that, he started to do a lot of stimulus updates like every day. And it's very dry, like stimulus update and stimulus package update June 6th. Like that's it. And it's just a picture of him and a still like the thumbnails, just him sitting there like this. And he doesn't put much effort into cutting or pacing or anything with the video, <laughs> sorry, um, none of the editing in the video, none of the thumbnail. He doesn't cut, I don't think, once, and he just puts up like five minute videos. But he is someone that's really dry, really to the point. He's just a tax accountant. Uh, he owns the company Clear Value Tax. And he's just someone that I don't really enjoy watching, honestly, just because he's kind of he sounds condescending like he's someone that's really smart and knows it and doesn't care what you think so he'll sometimes he talks about like a cryptocurrency on there and it's not like it's kind of a lesser known crypto and then it went up in value a ton and then he like talked about how great it was how he made 300 percent off of it and i don't know it just seems a little bit weird um so we're gonna put him He's going to be in the C category. He's someone where if you need tax advice, go to him. But otherwise, I just don't enjoy watching him, honestly. Um, sorry, clear value tax, but uh, we're just going to put you there. The next person on the list is the one, the only financial education. So he is someone that I've talked about before. He is like the number one stock picking uh, YouTube channel on here. So if you want to know about Facebook stock, let's say. You type in Facebook stock. He is the person to listen to. He'll break down the stock. He'll go point by point for 25 minutes, for 30 minutes. And he does videos every day of the week. And he's just an awesome guy. If you are an individual stock picker, you want to watch him. So he has two channels, Financial Education, Financial Education 2. Financial Education is more like general stock market index, um, just like the whole the whole stock market and he'll talk about like what's going on in the economy, what's going on for stocks. And then financial education too is more like a deep dive into a stock, but he's awesome to watch. Uh, if you want like regular content on stocks, watch him. So we're going to put him also in the S tier. So he is the best person to watch if you want to know about a particular stock and really want to go in depth on it. He's also made a ton of money in the space, so he's a really good entrepreneur too. He owns um, a lot of different stuff, a lot of different products that make him money on YouTube, and he's someone to kind of look up to there. So we're in the final two here. Just going to have one more drink before this. Okay. If you don't know who this next guy is, then you're stupid. Dave Ramsey, the OG, the original 
finance YouTuber, the original finance podcaster, radio host. He's got almost 2 million subscribers and he is just massive. Uh, his influence is massive. He's helped more people, I'm sure, than anyone on this list. And he's been doing this for 20 years or something like that. He's gone bankrupt a couple times in the process, but he's helped so many people get out of debt. And he doesn't really work with the high end like he has really rich people, obviously, that watch him. But he generally helps out the people that are in debt and in dire circumstances. Like his big thing is the no debt, um, just budget. Like he doesn't want you to go into debt for anything besides a house. And when you go into debt for a house, pay it off as quickly as possible. But he is someone that if you're in a tough spot, you go watch his videos and he'll kick your butt. And he's not someone that I really like to watch anymore. Um, it's kind of entertaining at first to watch him just because he'll like yell at different people and talk about how stupid they are. But it's kind of demoralizing a little bit. I, I don't like watching it anymore. I also don't uh, believe in some of his investment ideas and investment practices. Like he lost me after he said you shouldn't invest in your 401k even if you get a match if you have some kind of debt like 10% interest rate debt. And like 401k matching is an automatic 100% match if you get matched 100%. So it's like 100% gain. So I don't know. He lost me after that. But he's been around so long. We have to put him on here. We have to include him. And if there was a B plus category, we'd put him there. But since there is not, he gets A category just because of how many people he's helped over the years. But I am not going to watch him because I can't take his screaming at me. Okay, then the moment we've all been waiting for, Graham Stephan. So Graham is the largest financial YouTuber that I know of on YouTube. And that's because he has this channel, which has 2.04 million subscribers. He has another Graham Stephan show channel, which has, I don't know, 400,000, 500,000 by now. He started it just so that he could do kind of a Dave Ramsey-esque uh, channel. So he has people like call in or he'll review different videos on it. At first it was a lot of calls. Now it's more videos like he'll watch different YouTube videos and react to it. But he's a guy that was, he didn't go to college. He didn't feel like it was worth it. He didn't have the grades and he became a realtor. He became a very successful realtor. So he was making like, I don't know, $400,000 a year, $500,000 a year in LA being a realtor and he sold to like some really high-end people he's in the upscale market but then he started YouTube uh, after he had maybe three or four rental properties so he just stashed money away he's a really frugal guy he won't spend four dollars at Starbucks but he's got six million dollars worth of rental property so uh, he is someone that started YouTube videos and he started to make it a bigger bigger part of his life so he was spending, I think he said around 40 hours a week, which is pretty much what I'm doing right now, honestly, uh, on YouTube doing three videos a week, um, three or four videos a week. Actually, I think he spent eight hours, so 25 hours a week, eight hours per video. And he grew his following um, and it just kept on growing, kept on growing. He was consistent. He did three videos a week, I think every week for the last like three years. And he talks about real estate, he talks about stock market investing, he talks about anything that you can pretty much think of in real estate and in investing just in personal finance. And he's just someone that's like, Dave Ramsey's the original gangster or OG for all of personal finance. He is the OG for like the new wave of finance. He is the person that you look up to. Anything that you have a question on that's not maybe like an insurance question or something like that. He does it. He talks about how to save money on taxes while investing, how to save money on taxes while investing in real estate, how to do like 1031 exchanges, how to invest in real estate with no money down. He does videos on how he makes money off Tesla. He does videos on how he makes money off of making money off of reacting to videos about how he makes money. He is just awesome. He's a really fun guy to watch. Um, he's got high production value, did all of it himself, uh, liked and commented back and replied to every comment for years he has to be in the s category and if there's something better we'd put him there 
he would be the top of the list no matter what we're looking at. And he's just an awesome guy. Uh, so definitely go check him out. So if you've made it this far, I want to hear from you. Um, I don't know, what should we put in the bottom? Maybe uh, tell me your someone that you'd like to see on this list. Uh, let me know if you've liked this format. And you know, tell me, tell me the names of who you think would be on the top of the list here. So that's how I know you've watched through to the end. Who do you think is at the number one spot on the list? I appreciate you guys watching and hopefully my cameras have actually gone this long. If you guys want those stocks from Weeble, go get them. If you guys don't mind hitting the like button and hitting the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. it really helps out the channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.